technically, rotoscoping is shooting live action film and then tracing each frame onto animation paper. And then those drawings would be used as reference. And the point of it, of course, is that they're just using it for the suggestions of ideas that they can get from that. We have some wonderful live action film that was shot at the time of Pinocchio featuring an actor named Val Stanton who would be costumed and would go through the movements that Jiminy Cricket would play in one of his scenes. It doesn't mean that they would be tracing every arm movement and leg movement that he did. What they'd be doing is looking at the whole general spirit of his movements and any ideas that he... Master! Master, yes, but... Master! Don't let be silly! Lemon, that's different. Uh. And the voice of the March Hare. Yes, Margot, another one of your favorites. Professor Jerry Colonna himself. <laughs> My dear child, this is not a birthday party. Of course not, silly. This is an unbirthday party. Unbirthday? Well, I'm sorry, but I don't quite understand. It's very simple. Now, 30 days have. No. Well, an unbirthday, if you have a birthday, then you. <laughs> she doesn't know what an unbirthday is. <laughs> Look at me. I never done this before. I want to try, see what happened. And also, you know, <clears throat> the game and the computer, you never get old. Then I can see myself on the computer for long, you know, for, you know, just stay on my age. I can get old, but the computer never get old. So I, I think I better I keep my movement. Maybe something I can move today, I might cannot move 10 years later. I keep my movement, keep my, keep my acting, keep my humor, everything put in the computer. Then one day, just like a memory. It's a game, they show to the audience, and give the kids to play. And on. One thing about trains, it doesn't matter where they're going. What matters is deciding to get on. I... I want to believe. Well... Thank you. You don't want to be bamboozled. You don't want to be let down to Primrose Bath! And from that, they were able to record every facial movement, from the actor's lips to their eyes. And that proved to exactly be the, the, the kind of holy grail approach to how to do uh, CG faces, not the stuff that they had done before, which is what we call marker-based, or now uh, image-based. We got the best animators in the world to take all this data that was coming out of our performance captures, and then we limited their options to things that were value-added, like the ears and the tails. So they took a human performance, with no diminishment whatsoever, and then added to it. So when people ask me, you know, sort of what percentage of horrible, and it would have been boring and stupid, and you know, kind of blue actors running around in the rainforest in their underwear, you know, and a bunch of blue bodies. His technology could cross what's known in robotics and animation as the uncanny valley. Let's say this: we really believe that they actually exist, but we have to believe in them as emotional creatures. And so we came up with the um, the head rig. We call it the head rig. It's basically just a, a kind of helmet, very tight, conformal kind of skull cap that's based on a on a uh, life cast. Of 